Hello, and welcome back to the video lecture series for Introduction to Yoda Programming using Scala. In this video, we're going to cover the topic of aliases. Now, the idea of an alias is when you have uh, different names for the same thing. So, for example, you've heard the, uh, the term alias when talking about people going by different names. In programming, the term alias typically means that we have a multiple variables that refer to the same location in memory. And to understand this, I think it's helpful if we look at what it means when we actually do a variable declaration. So let's pull up Scala here and just think of a simple variable declaration that we've done in the past. So something like val a equals 7. What should your mental model be for this? Well, this is, we're giving, we have a variable, it's named a, and the question really is, what does it mean that a equals 7 in this context? Uh, the picture that I want you to have in your head for this is that our variable a is like a little box. And this, this little box, it's labeled a, and it points to another little box. So we'll draw a connection between these. Something like this. And then I want to say that this box is storing the value 7 in it. OK. That's simple enough. Um, and for a val, what it means for something to be a val is just I can't change this arrow. I can't change what it points to. Where the topic of aliasing comes in is in the situation of something like what happens now if I say val, actually let's go with a var, b equals a. Well, normally we get, okay, so now b equals 7. What should your mental model be for this? Well, now I have a new box. My new box is labeled B. And what you should be thinking of in this situation is that the box B also points to that same box that stores the 7. For integers, maybe this doesn't... Uh, turns out when the virtual machine's going, this isn't quite what's happening. But for things like strings, this is exactly what is is going on. In the case of a string, something like that, the image that you should have inside of your head, now my variable name, it's going to be a little bit longer, and what it refers to is the value i there. And we make these point from one to the other. So what happens if I change the value of my var? So I can, in Scala, uh, I could say, for example, that uh, str equals uh, another string. What should we be picturing in our head when, when this happens? Well, we are not changing this value here. That's not what's going on. What's going on instead is that we've made a new box, and this new box holds the value another string, and now str, instead of pointing to high there, points to another string. The high there object is potentially still there, at least for a while, until the garbage collector comes around and collects it. So the question is, what does it mean for something to be an alias? Well, in this case right here, I made b to be an alias of 7. If I were in the example of our strings, 
to make a new a val str2 equals str we see that str2 is equal to another string but what's really going on here is that our new box for str2 is an alias for this object okay? because of the way that objects are stored and stored and the way that Scala's memory model works uh, these two things now refer to the same object and basically this object can go either by the name of str or str2 we'll come back in the next video and we'll talk about how this can matter and what impact it can have in your programming